The Charleston School of Protocol and Etiquette presents Professional Table Manners, the first course in the Professional Savvy series. Complete your meal. Your napkin remains in your lap until everyone is ready to leave. Once your napkin has been folded, click and drag it to where you think it should be placed on the table. family was uh, from a province in Italy where they used the fleur-de-lis. We were French nobility before that. The fleur-de-lis was a, sign, a sign of royalty. And when I say that, I mean it in a manner of um, not money royalty, but the way you treat people royalty. Not how much you have, but who you are. Very important. Ready? Go! Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Okay, good. Allow that door to slide behind you. <laughs> okay. I would approach the door like I normally would, and I would pull the door open. I could turn actually away from it this way, and then I would allow it to close. Okay? Smiling as I go. <laughs> so then, thank you, Jack. I would let the door slide behind me, grab the handle with my other hand. Can everybody see what I'm going to actually move so you can see my hands? Step back into the door to close it. Okay, and I'm entering what? Face forward, okay? Catherine, here we go, you ready? Okay, we're gonna help you through, we're gonna walk you through this, so you're gonna approach the door, take the door, perfect. Open the door, turn in towards the door, very good. Imagine there's a handle there, you would be actually pulling it close, smiling as you leave, very good. Enter into the room, uh -huh. enter in, step in just far enough so that the door can slide behind you. Now you're gonna switch hands with it, good, and just step back in to close it. Here we go. Hold it here. It's facing this way. We don't turn. Beautifully done. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Okay. Kayla, you ready? Allow that door to slide behind you. Switch hands and step back. Well done. This is called a placement spoon. They're both actually soup spoons. That's it. Now take your hand into your lap and wipe your hand. most helpful thing that I learned would probably be how to eat soup. Because <laughs> I used to slurp, I used to like blow on things, and a lot of the soup would end up on my dad's face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Catherine, come on up, sweetie. Yay!
that's how you add your soup. Not put your hand on the table. Ever. Okay. Terrible. <laughs> 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 I never went to etiquette school. I wish I did. I wish my mom sent me. Do you remember any of the dances they brought to? Ever since the school, she's been wonderful. Okay, she's very comfortable. She's very, I mean, she forgets a few of the techniques, but uh, she's just been absolutely a joy to go to dinner with. It's certainly a way to, to, to separate, okay, those people who have courtesies, have education, have a well-rounded background, and those who do not. And, and I think it certainly, again, forms a foundation for perhaps evaluating uh, men, okay, or other families in a manner that you may not have been aware of beforehand.